we're going to be talking about Costco and the Costco app. We're trying to make everybody feel comfortable shopping at Costco using the Costco app. So we're going to do first some Costco tips, and then we're going to look specifically at using the Costco app. So Costco is a membership warehouse. Loves. It's all about getting the best prices for goods that you need and brand name merchandise. They also have their own Kirkland brand merchandise as well. But throughout this, they use like store and warehouse interchangeably because Costco refers to their stores as warehouses. So if I say warehouse, that's what I'm talking about. And also I'm going to use the term either shop card or gift card. It's the same thing. In order to shop at Costco, you need to either be a member. So have purchased a membership and you show your membership card or your digital membership card at the door, or you have to have a shop card that you can show those at the door. And that is sort of your ticket to be let in. So there'll be people standing right at the door, looking at people's cards. If you are not a member, just show them your shop card. And that is how you enter. Also Costco has delivery options so you can order things with your shop cart online to be delivered to or if you're a member you can do that as well what can we buy from costco all sorts of things groceries fresh produce bulk items they have a really pretty extensive produce department you can buy health and personal care items they have a pharmacy you can buy electronics like tvs computers all sorts of different kinds of electronic appliances refrigerators clothing which is actually really good pharmacy items prescription glasses glasses, toys, all sorts of things, many other things. It's kind of like a treasure hunt. Another thing to keep in mind, which is good, is that they also accept EBT on qualified items and also over-the-counter benefits on eligible over-the-counter medicines and other items like that. So you can use those benefits as well in conjunction with your shop card. So what about membership? You can shop with just your shop card. There are a lot of benefits to being a member. And I say this as somebody who just recently became a member there myself. So you can consider doing that. And you can can use your shop card towards a membership. A membership costs $65 a year for Gold Star members, which is the membership that I have, which sort of like the basic membership. You get two cards for your household. The executive membership is $130 a year, and there are some benefits to that that are a little different. So you get annual 2% reward back. There's some services that you have access to that you wanted otherwise. But again, you can use your shop card, the gift card you got as an incentive towards purchasing a membership, and that can cut the cost of that a little bit. And that's per year, just so you know. Where are the closest Costco locations? So the one we probably all know is over at East River Plaza. That's the one that's really close to the Action Center. But there are three other locations in New York City as well. There's one in Sunset Park. There's one in Long Island City. And there's one in Rico Park. So two in Queens, one in Brooklyn, and one right down the street. So depending on where you are, one of these might be sort of more convenient for you. Here's some tips. If you're buying large items from the store, consider bringing a cart. If you're buying a whole bunch of bulk stuff at one time, you wanna have something that you can carry it out with. They also have boxes, like the boxes that are left over from their shipments that you can carry stuff out in as well. But if you're really stocking up, consider bringing a cart. The stock is updated all the time. There are some things that they have all the time and then things that are kind of rotating. So keep an eye out for the new items there. And and you can think of it, like I said, kind of like a treasure hunt. They talk about it like a treasure hunt. You find things that you had no idea were there, which is fun. If you are using a shop card and you don't have a membership, so you don't have a membership, but you're using that shop card, when you go to check out, just tell the cashier. They have to have a manager enter a little code for you. It should be relatively seamless. You might want to try it for the first time at a time that it's not going to be super, super busy, but they've assured us that that's not a huge deal. So maybe the first time you shop there, maybe try it during the day or not like people weekend hours, but it should be relatively seamless. They also have a self-checkout. So if you go to the self-checkout and you don't have a membership, but you have the shop card, just tell the attendant at self-checkout and they should be able to get that code entered for you as well. Just keep in mind too, that items ordered for delivery may cost a little more in order to cover delivery costs. So they do same day delivery through Instacart. That's generally on perishable food items. And the minimum order for that is $35. And then they do two day delivery as well, which is free for orders over $75, but for orders under $75, they charge you $3 per item for that delivery. So just keep those things in mind. There's not a delivery fee on top of that. It's just the $3 per item thing until you get up to $75 and the delivery is free. Let's get into the app. Downloading the Costco app. As with all apps, you're going to find the Play Store or the App Store on your phone. It's going to be the Play Store if it's Android or the App Store if it's iPhone. So take a second to find that on your phone. Look for those. So there's my Play Store. Open the Play Store. I'm going to type Costco up in the top where it says search apps and games. And then I should see 
that red C logo that looks like this. There it is. See, Sam's Club's trying to get to me while I'm going for Costco. <laughs> but you're going to look for that Costco logo, and that's the app. And then hit install. So it's loading right now. And then once you've installed it, you hit open. I'm going to go through that quick one more time. So open up the Play Store or the App Store if you have an iPhone. Search for Costco in the top. I type slowly. And then when you see that red C logo, just click install. And then once it's installed, you're going to click on open. The first time you open the Costco app, it's going to ask you a couple of questions. So first, it's going to ask if you want to share your location. And what that does is it tells them where you're located so that they can tell you which stores are closest to you, the delivery options near you, that sort of thing. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. I clicked on while well using the app because I just think it's sort of convenient that way. And I don't have a problem with sharing my location on here, but it's totally up to you. And then even if you don't share your location, it's going to ask you which of these warehouses is the one closest to you, which is the one you're most likely to frequently go to. So if you didn't share your location, you can just put your city or state and zip code in here. But since they know that Manhattan is the closest one to me, that's the one that I pick. And then I click that as my warehouse. So share your location, what warehouse you want to go to. So I clicked on Manhattan. And then it's going to ask you if you want to receive notifications from the Costco app and that's up to you. You can do that or not. And then just hit continue. See, it'll say allow or don't allow. Depending on your notification preferences, you can do whatever you want to with that. And then you are in the app. Once you've answered all those questions, you will see the sort of front page of the Costco app. So I'm just gonna scroll down on the side here. It's just a whole bunch of things that they're featuring right now. A lot of this is like, outdoor stuff because it's about to be spring, like patio furniture, things like that. So you can get sort of a general idea of the things that they're promoting right now. This is just their front page. First, you want to go ahead and set up your account. And even if you have a SAP card, it's worth setting up your account, especially if you're going to get delivery because you're going to need that account to do it. So in order to do that, the first thing you need to do is click at this icon at the bottom that says account. What you'll see across the bottom, it says explore, shop, account, warehouse, cart. You're going to start with account here, and you want to click on sign in or create account. If you already are a member, but you don't use the app, you can use this as well, and it'll link up to your membership when you put your member number in. It says click on sign in or create account. We're going to create an account because we're going to be new on here. That's what I just did. So click on create account. So here, you'll be asked to enter your email address, make a password. It makes you have like the capital letter and lowercase and a special character and all that. So do your password, confirm your password. And then if you have a membership, go ahead and enter your membership card number here. And that is on the back of your card. It just says member ID. It's like the only number on there. So it should be pretty easy to locate that. And then once you've done that, you're going to click on create account. Let me play all that back one more time. So again, you're going to account and you're going to go into sign in or create account. If you're making a new account, you're going to go down here and say create account. And once you do that, you'll enter your email address, make a password, confirm that password, put in your membership number and click on create account. So if you are a Costco member and you just entered your membership card, you'll then have access to your digital membership card. So this is the stock picture of what it looks like. So whenever you open the app and click on account, you can pull up that card and you can actually scan that at the door. And when you go to pay as well, instead of using your physical card, which can be really helpful because it's on your phone, it'll load your picture that you already have and you'll have access to that through the app. So again, when you're coming in the door and need to share your card or when you're checking out, you just open the Costco app and click on an account and your card will pop up. It'll look just like that, except with your picture. And then even if you don't have a membership and you go in there and make an account, you can use your account to check things like your shop card balance. So if you want to do that, what you're going to do is click on account again at the bottom of the screen and you're going to scroll down. There's a bunch of different menu options on here. There's a lot of things you can do with the app, but checking your shop card balance is helpful whether you have a membership or not. So you're going to scroll down to where it says help. You're going to click on shop card balance. It's going to ask you to enter the card card number and PIN number on that card, on your shop card, and then it'll tell you what your balance is. Let's shop. Let's do some practice. We're here on the front page. 
we scrolled through, looked at the things that they're highlighting. Now we want to look at actual specific categories of things we can shop for. So we're going to click down here where it says shop, and it's going to give us a whole bunch of different categories, and then it'll give us a thing to click on for more categories. So I'm interested for our purposes today in grocery and household essentials. I'm just showing you what there is, pet supplies, home installation, beauty. That was just looking at everything. Now we're going to go to grocery and household <laughs> essentials. So again, we're going to shop. We're going to scroll down and go to grocery and household essentials. I want to look at, what am I looking at? Pantry and dry goods. And then I clicked on nut butters, jelly, and jam. Let's say I want that big old almond butter. So I clicked on add it to cart and it lands here in my cart. This is like other online shopping you may do. It's not really different, but I just wanted to show you the step. So grocery and household essentials. Scroll down, you'll see there's all sorts of different things. Coffee, dairy, cleaning supplies, deli, many things. I am interested in pantry and dry goods. Then I'm going to go to nut butter, there's jelly and jam. And add that almond butter to my cart. And then you'll see one item pops up in my cart there. When you're doing this too, remember that for some same day and two day delivery items, there might be a minimum order or an added delivery fee. So just keep that in mind, especially if you're ordering a perishable food item, that's going to be a same day delivery item. So just make sure that you're hitting that $35 minimum for that. You can also use the app to check on what is in the warehouse near you. So what we did is we clicked the warehouse button down here, click on that. And you see that it already has, as I set up earlier, Manhattan is my warehouse. And then you can type in anything in this search, the warehouse inventory. If you are looking for the four pound bag of chia seeds or I mean, the four pound bag of quinoa or the almond butter or anything like that, or toys, you can just type that in there and you can see if it's currently in stock at your warehouse. You see, I've searched for oatmeal and chia seeds. Now I'm gonna do toilet paper. Let's see what kind of toilet paper they have in stock. They have the Kirkland brand, they have Charmin, they have Scott. These are my options. I can see everything that they have there right now. But then if I want to see things that are featured, I can go to warehouse savings here. And this will show me things that are currently on sale that I don't need extra coupons or anything for. They're just current deals. We can scroll through there and see what sorts of things we might want to get that are currently being highlighted and promoted and are on sale. Finally, if you want to purchase a membership with the app, you can do that on the app. And then you go to Costco, to the membership desk, and you get your picture taken and all that. But you can go ahead and purchase the membership on the app. To do that, if you're not a member yet, you're going to go to the search bar at the top and type in membership. And then you want to scroll down and click on the type of membership you would like to purchase. So it's going to ask you if you want an executive membership or a gold star membership. And then you're going to follow the steps to check out. And again, you can use your shop card to help pay. You'll get a confirmation email once you've gotten your membership. You take your phone with that confirmation email and a government issued ID to the membership desk. They'll take your picture and you will be good to go. You can also just go to the membership desk when you walk into Costco and sign up there. That's fine too. When I went, we waited for maybe like 15 minutes because there were a lot of people shopping there then because I think a lot of people noticed that Costco was having really good policies about their stores. And so they wanted to get Costco membership. If you want to skip line, I would go during like a lower traffic period of time, like the middle of the day, and it might not be as crowded. But remember to bring your ID. If you did already purchase it through the app, make sure that you have that confirmation email with you as well and they'll take your cute picture so this is like the most basic stuff to get in the app to get into costco to start your costco shopping experience